Hey there. This is a server. This thing does a lot for me. It is currently my Unraid machine. Right now I'm using it for Plex. I'm using it for Image. I'm using it for a lot of things. But what we're going to be using it for now is an NVR with Frigate. And I've been meaning to do this for quite a while, but I needed to wait for this guy. This right here is a TPU adapter. Now, why do I need an adapter? That is because I am an idiot. And I lack the common sense to do proper research on things before I buy them. There it is, it is the dual TPU adapter. And I have this little guy. This is a Coral little teeny tiny dual TPU unit. Specifically, this goes in a NVMe E key. And the reason I need an adapter is because this requires two PCE lanes while all of the uh, E keys on any of the hardware I have only support one lane. This right here fixes that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's add some context here. This right here is the Frigate website. If I go to recommended hardware, it goes over everything that you're going to need to get this set up. What this is, like I kind of said, is a uh, self-hosted MBR solution. Allows you to record. Um, there's different snapshots for different types of events. And just relying on something like a Intel CPU, so for Intel hardware encoding, does work. But for the amount of cameras I have, does not work very well. We can see the interface speeds here. If I just had a couple cameras set up, I'd just use a little like N200 Nook, but I have quite a few. This right here, the Google Coral TPU, is the recommended thing that they uh, recommend. You can see here it will strongly outperform a $2,000 CPU and it will work with any Coral device. The most common one that people use is a USB, but unfortunately I already have a USB hanging out of this thing for Unraid and that is uh, going to look a little messy. So I got this thing, uh, plugged it into an Intel Nook initially. And I only had access to one of the TPUs, which is why I needed this. This I cannot plug into a Nook. This is a little uh, PCIe adapter. But fortunately, this right here, this is the uh, Ugreen uh, DXP 6800 Pro. This thing over here, I think right here, has a spot for me to install this little PCIe adapter. And within the Ungrade un 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 Software Center, they do have the drivers. So I haven't tested this. I did test this on the Nook. Works great. I uh, did it with Home Assistant, but we're going to be installing it on here with Docker. So the first part of this installation process is obviously installing it. So we're just going to get this, slide it on in, and screw this down. There we go. I wish that was the easiest part. Now I got to take apart this thing. Pop out all these drives to make this easier to move around. Look at that. Casual flex. Casual flex. That's the only one. That's my parity drive. Everything else is four terabytes. With the Unraid, you can't have anything in there bigger than the parity drive, so I figured I'd just get a massive one so I can basically put whatever I want in here and actually be able to utilize that storage space. Should I do a spread? That's how networking nerds flex. There it is, PCIe. You gotta take out these stupid rubber things. And you can tell I actually use it, it's dusty. There we go, we got these little things out. Definitely not putting those back in. We only use uh, professional tools here at TechCut Media. Pop the screws out and let's see how easy this is. Ugh. Uh, this doesn't feel good. Is it like magnets? I've taken apart the smaller one, but never this one. Ah, ah, ooh. <laughs> and there it is. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way. I'm trying to do this without having to take off the entire shell. I think I'll be able to. Is that lined up? I can't tell. I'm gonna turn on flash so I could see. Oh, focus for me. And let's just push, let's go for it. Hey, will this fit back on here? That almost might be too convenient. Hey, I think I'm gonna be able to put this back on here and actually hold it upright. Sweet. So it's in. That was a, a pretty simple installation. Of course, you are gonna need PCIe to actually do this. So if you're using a NAS, you have to make sure that it has that. Or even better, if you DIY it, make your own kind of NAS, chances are you'll have a place to put this. And we'll be able to actually use both of the, uh, oh, it's kind of wiggly. It should be fine. With this, we'll be able to use both of the chips, which is nice, which I honestly probably don't even need, but I don't like to have hardware that it doesn't at least have the potential to be utilized. And then in the future, if something like Image, for example, starts to support this, I can dedicate one to Frigate and the other to another application that can actually use it. I know there's other tools, uh, other AI softwares that you can use with this. So just to be able to separate both of them and have that option is cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws back in through the hard drives and put it back in the rack. And uh, 
see if we can detect them. All right, here we are. We have our Unraid server running, and supposedly, all we need to do is go over here to apps and search for Coral, and right here, the Coral Accelerator Module Drivers. Let's open that up. If you are not on Unraid and you're on some other system, these are really easy to install. I'll leave a link down below with the packages that you'll need, whether that be an Ubuntu system, so on, so forth. So let's just click install and see if this is just gonna work. It's just a plugin versus a Docker container, which is cool with me. Let's go ahead and hit done. And now, where is this gonna be? Let's find it. There it is, Coral Driver. Let's open that up and look at that. We have Coral TP1 and Coral TPU2 both alive and well. They seem to be working just fine. So now we're gonna install uh, Frigate, Frigate, whatever. And I know there's some things we need to do. I might have the config already in here. Uh, I have all my configs with an app data here. This right here is a uh, plugin that allows you to kind of browse your file system. And we have Frigate, which is cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of a lot of this real quick, because this is basically a fresh install, but I am gonna be keeping the uh, config YML. So if you're doing this for the first time, you're gonna need to create the folder and the config file. So I'm gonna delete those. And let's take a look at this. Here we are, this is a older configuration file. I've been building a GitHub repository with or I've been slowly building it as I do things with all of my uh, home lab stuff. So if I head over here and go over to home lab, we can see surveillance here. We have Freegate, and this right here is my new config. So I am going to just grab this entire configuration here and drop it on in. Now there is one thing we are going to need to change, and that is up here where it says detect. You can see I was only using one coral at the moment or at that specific moment. Again, we see both of them cooking, so we can't add the second one. So I'm just gonna copy this, paste this in. This is going to be Coral 2, and I'm assume this is one. Let's actually check that. So let's open our uh, terminal here within Unraid, and we are just gonna run this command to see if they're showing up. We can see both of them. I'm pretty sure that's the same command that the uh, GUI for Unraid is running to show them. And let's list these devices here. And we have zero and one, so that should work. And obviously we'll be able to see that when we actually uh, launch everything. So that's it. Additionally, we have MQTT. This is needed if you're gonna link it up to Home Assistant. I will change this later to get it connected properly since now it's gonna be on a separate machine. I can't just use this uh, host name, but let's go ahead and save this. Go back into our app data, frigate, delete this one, and then let's upload our new one. And there we go. So now let's head over to apps and actually search for this uh, free key and give it an install. Okay. Within the setup, you can see kind of the instructions, some of the things I talked about, which is the valid configuration. We're going to set this to uh, privileged so it can access the uh, Coral TPUs and kind of skim through this here. Media path, we are going to change this. This is going to be under data. NVR, there's nothing in there right now, which is good. So user, data, NVR, beautiful. We're gonna keep all the ports the same. I'll change this password later. And here is the coral mapping. So like we saw in the terminal, we're gonna use this. So the first one is going to be uh, Apex Zero. And we're probably gonna to need to add another device. So let's go down here, add a device, device, just be TPU2 and drop this in, make it number one, add. Hopefully that works. <laughs> We're gonna keep our Intel in there since it does have a actual Intel GPU. You are able to use multiples as it says up here actually. Optionally, but highly recommended, you can use multiple devices to perform object detection such as the Coral Accelerator and a Intel GPU. So we are gonna get rid of this NVIDIA garbage, remove, remove. I'm just gonna keep this as is for now. I do need to do a little bit more research in that. Let's do it. Let's run it, hit apply. And just like with installing the uh, the drivers initially, like we did, if you're not doing this on Unraid, it's a simple uh, Docker, Docker compose file that you can use. And there'll be a link to Frigate over here in all their documentation. So if I go under like getting started, it goes over just about everything that you are going to want to know and use. And configuring this is really dependent on the hardware that you want to use. And honestly, it does take a whole lot of playing around with the configuration to actually get everything to work properly. So do note that.
All right, so I did have a little more work to do. I had to change these uh, IP addresses for the RTSP path to properly match with the actual local IP address of this container. Um, if I go ahead and start it up here, let's go into our logs and ask see if we still have issues. Regardless of those issues, right here, user and password, this is my current administrator password. So let's grab it, head over here and paste it in login and there we go and we do have some feeds so part of it is working oh there's been some updates this looks really pretty let's head over to our settings real quick and go to system metrics here we have our gpu usage we have our interface speeds and temperatures and you can see we have coral one and coral two so it is utilizing both of the uh, TPUs now, which is great, as well as the GPU. So we have multiple things working. You can see it's still trying to figure out what's going on there. I have a feeling that's a problem with the real link in VR. That thing is a pain, pain in the ass. But both of them are showing up, which was the whole point of everything that I'm doing. So as of now, I'm going to call this a success. As you can see, we still have a lot of errors in the logs. Uh, this was not a uh, frigate or frigate configuration tutorial. So knowing I got these two working, I just have probably some slight configuration changes to make to uh, get all this up and running. But we're now utilizing both of those uh, chips, which is freaking awesome. But yeah, that's how you get these uh, Coral TPUs working with Freegate. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have a fantastic day and goodbye.